Hello friends and neighbors. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to our Tuesday lunch chat. I'm Sarah. I'm the owner of Not Another Hat and I'm coming to you live from here inside my store and not another hat which I just said, uh, here in Hood River, Oregon, in the heart of the Columbia River Gorge. I just realized that I left something home I need to show you on this video, and that's why my brain just disconnected for a second. <laughs> um, I'm just going to improvise. Oh, oh, that's so frustrating when I do that. I packed it all up in my backpack so I wouldn't forget. And then at the last minute, I was like, well, I don't need my backpack. There's nothing in there that's that important. So I'm going to tell you all about my latest design that's going to be in tomorrow's newsletter and I'm not going to have it here to show you, but I can show you the yarn it's made out of. So, you know, we're halfway there. <laughs> Hi everybody. I finished something else. Woo. I'm on a tear. I'm not even kidding. I finished this. I finished a sock I started a year ago. Um, I finished it uh, at Super Bowl and started the second one and I'm halfway through the second one. And I finished a hat that I started about 10 months ago. So next up is Elton, which I also intended to bring and show you because I thought that I had so far to go on it. So if you don't know, Elton is by Hohe. It's this beautifully striped pullover. I'm doing the pullover. There's a, there is also a cardigan. And it is fingering and mohair striping and it's light and gauzy and gorgeous and Jill's made like 16 of them. And I thought that I had so far to go, but I was like, let's just pound this out. Let's just get it done. And I pulled it out on Sunday. I have already bound off the body. I seriously, I just have the sleeves and it's like a drop shoulder sleeve. So it's, I mean, ha. Huh. On the one hand, it's really nice to have that happen when you think you have a long ways to go and you pull out a long forgotten um, whip and you find out you're way further along than you realized. But um, I just need to do it now. Yes, we can do it, Jill. Jill Jill can finish her 16th while I finish my first. We started our first ones at the same time. Let me just say that. I don't. It's, it's not 16, but literally she's made this multiple times. How many times, Jill? Put it in the comments. Um, <laughs> so I finished my, um, my Tosh Rhinebeck sweater. I'm not even going to say it because I get it wrong every time. It's named after that place in France. Giverny? Giverny? <laughs> oh, it got in my head and now I don't remember the right way to say it. So anywho, lovely color work yoke. Um, and it's got that motif repeated here on the bottom and the sleeves. And I'm super, super, super happy with how it came out. Fits perfectly and it feels really good. We're like, it's sunny right now and we have a huge winter weather storm watch happening. I'm like, what? But this will be handy because I can throw this on. Okay. Jill's on her fourth Elton. Sorry. I just saw the comment. And then somehow it's Julia's fault. I'm all about blaming other people for when I have a case of cast on itis. So Jill, that's totally legit if you want to say it's Julia's fault. I don't even need to know why. I believe you. I have all kinds of projects in my Ravelry named it's Jill's fault, it's Sue's fault, it's MJ's fault. Uh, because people come in and they have really beautiful projects and I have no self-control. So immediately I pick yarn out and cast them on. Um... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. So back to this sweater. This is in Tosh Vintage and it's um, it's their worsted weight and it's just got this feel to it. Um, this doesn't feel heavy like a bulky sweater, but it's got enough feel that it's got that soothing comfort feel, like weighted blanket-ish. I mean, clearly not weighted blanket, but that's how I feel when I'm wearing it. I just, mm, mm. Um, So anyways. <laughs> Let me tell you, because we have vintage um, in sweater quantity, you could make your own as well. Um, these are the four main colors we have in sweater quantity. Really great. The three of these great neutral options. Um, the green, the leopard. I think that's leopard. Yeah. Um, and plain cake. And then daisy would be like a really fun, um, surprising option. And then we have a whole skew of one and two skein colors others that would go with this so if you want us to help you like if you like one of these main colors and you want us to help you put together your three contrast colors just shoot us an email because we absolutely could do that here i didn't bring all the 
Oh, I brought, I, wait, I did. Hold on. I forgot what I packed up. Just a second. Just a second. Um, here it's just a smattering of some of the plain colors. We could help you um, pop in as your contrast. There's more. I just grabbed, this was like a handful that I could grab. So we have lots of great goodies um, that we could put together if you would like to make this as well. Once I, okay, it didn't take me a year to make this per se. I, not a year. July is when I started. Um, I started right after my hand surgery. And um, I was just so dying to knit it that I got to like right here. I got to just into my third color, third contrast color. And then I stopped because we had the whole Tosh event here at the store when Laura Zander came to visit. And my rep, Bev, she had already finished hers. So I knew that she'd be bringing her finished one. I'm so terrible. So I stopped working on this altogether. So this was one of my like New Year's, I've got to clean up the whips things. And so once I picked it up, I'm not kidding you. I picked this up after I finished my tea with jam and bread and I want to say it took me like a week. Now, granted, I am short-waisted, so it's not the longest sweater. Um, your mileage may vary. I think I actually did this to specifications um, because it is on the shorter side or it's written to be on the shorter side. But anyway, this is a really great bang it out sweater if you need a win right now. If you're enjoying working on jam and bread and you like that worsted weight, oh my God, I can knit this sweater and finish it feeling. This is great. This is great for that. So that's all about... Um, this French sweater that Julia, I'm sure has linked to because I'm not going to say it. Giverny? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. I shared this in the newsletter already, but I didn't talk about it on the video because we hadn't received our restock yet. I think, boy, I'm losing track of stuff. Um, so I just, am going to show it, or maybe I'm showing it again. This is Hohe's It Brings You Peace. It is light. Look at how light and fluffy it is. This is knit out of Yes Serie from Pearl Talk. And uh, Liz knit this beautiful sample for us. It is just, Hohe designed it in a Serie alpaca, so it is exactly as it was meant to be. It takes two skeins of your main color and one skein of your contrast. And since we got restocked, we did sell out of cloud immediately. But don't worry because it is um, on its way back already. I've already got it on reorder. But we do have some other lovely combos. So I want to just show you a couple of them. So this is your main with the pink. This is the same pink that we use, Damask Rose. So this is, um, this is Pepper with Damask Rose. Those would be gorgeous. Um, Bordeaux and Zebra. Beautiful. Or... I can't remember. I think this is, I picked, intended this to be the main lavender field with your contrast of violet haze. These are just three examples. There's lots of them over there that you could put together if you wanted to make this frothy, beautiful shawl. It's just largely stockinette. It's meant to be literally, it's meant to bring you peace. And then it has this fun little um, design here with slip stitches and yeah, it's just really gorgeous. So um, check out our blog post about that. We got a couple of needle sets in and I wanna make sure you know that they're available because we don't typically stock either of these sets. I just kinda of thought it might be fun to have some other options. We're all about the chai goos, we love those. We know you love those too, but sometimes there are other things out there that are also really awesome and I wanted to make sure that you saw we have them. So this is the Mindful needle set from Knitter's Pride, the Mindful Collection. So this is like a starter set. This is size two and a half through US eight. And it's got the tools and the cords and everything in this great little pocket that goes inside. Great little folio. This is a really good travel size needle set um, that you can take along and it doesn't take up a lot of room, but it has the essentials. The mindfuls have really good sharp points. So, um, and then we have another Knitter's Pride set that is really beautiful. This is the self love set. Look at these. Gorgeous. So these are like their dreams, but in different colors. They're in this beautiful pastel. It's like a painter's palette here. And um, I got to refresh my memory on what we go. It's something to 11, four to 11. So you get sizes four to 11 tips. And it literally, it's like the pages of a book. 
And then here are your little pouches with cords and accessories, etc. And then it comes with this beautiful journal that can sit right inside as well. And it all goes inside here just like a book. So check those out because they're beautiful. Um, they make great gifts. If you're shopping ahead for Mother's Day, they would be really great for the knitter in your life. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> on my notes here. There's the thing I forgot to bring. I'm going to talk about that in a second. There's two yarns coming tomorrow that I can't show you. And I'll tell you about those in a second. Then it says Elton Progress, which, again, left it at home. It's amazing I arrived here at all with clothes on or anything, honestly. Um, okay, tomorrow, Barocco. Ha we're getting two yarns from, um, well, Barocco brand of families. We're getting a Mono Ture, which is a new half-and-half -half wool cotton and it is worsted weight to heavy worsted, beautiful colors. Holy smokes, these colors. Julia knit a swatch in this, um, a ladder swatch at different needle sizes. I already know what I'm gonna cast on. I'll tell you next week. Um, it feels amazing. The saturation of color is amazing. For those of you that need that half and half blend of wool and plant fiber to not be too hot, this is gonna be, you're gonna just absolutely die for this yarn. And then Bazola, which is a beautiful, super soft cotton. Um, like really nice to knit with cotton, not your typical, uh, ropey hurt the hands and it comes in solids and long, slow stripings. And so it's got some really beautiful collections, uh, from Barocco's design team. I shared those to my stories yesterday on Instagram, if you happen to see that, but both of those will be here tomorrow. They are the first in our new, um, spring summer lineup that to arrive. So Keep your eyes peeled for them to appear tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about my new design. Oh, Winter Nights Cowl is out. This is a beautiful little cowl that is designed in a new yarn we've just got in called um, Teal Torch TTK New DK. So this is from local Oregonian designer, Christina from Teal Torch Knits. And um, I got to meet her online on Sunday and she is lovely, absolutely lovely. Her specialty is saturated colors, and you're about to see why. <laughs> Check this out. Look at these beauties. Some of them just positively glow. So I designed a cute little one skein cowl, and it does have a slight little stripe of contrast color that's optional. So you could get two skeins that go together, and then you could make two cowls and reverse your little stripes. The stripe goes around the top edge and the bottom edge. So um, check that out. Julia shares a link, <laughs> shared a link <laughs> since I don't have it here. It's just a, um, a tube cowl. So, you know, one time around the neck, kind of short-ish, you can knit it on a 16-inch needle. And it has... Um, it features kind of like an all over texture pattern with the welting on the bottom and the top. So I designed it to go with my good vibes pattern that just came out for our good vibes tour members. And that's the winter nights mittens. And so the, I made some flip top mittens in this yarn. And then um, the cowl was what I designed with the leftovers to be matching. So right now the cowl is available to everybody, not just the tour members. The mittens won't be available to the public for six months, but um, you can still get your hands on this lovely, lovely, look at this color. <laughs> if you're feeling like it's still gray and wintry, grab some of these, check these out. I don't know if the iridescence on this is coming through, but it is so beautiful. So TTK, new DK, TTK means teal torch knits. This is um, a newer blend for her and it's DK weight with 245 yards to 100 grams, 80% superwash merino, and then 20% cash style nylon. So that is like kind of a newer form um, of manufacturing nylon that makes a really soft cashmere like feel. So it just feels really amazing. It's lovely, lovely to work with. I really love designing both of my patterns, the mittens and the cowl. Just pretend I'm wearing it right now. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so scattered. I'm so sorry. Um, I promise I'll do better next week. That's everything that I have for you today. <laughs> So stay tuned and make sure you check back on the website or read your email tomorrow morning when the newsletter goes out about the new yarns from uh, Barocco. And then also that will also have um, the cowl <laughs> featured in tomorrow's newsletter too. Oh, thank you, Julia. She shared a little preview of the uh, mitts pattern. So if you're really into it, 
If you think you're going to make the mitts when they become available to the public, go ahead and get your two colors now because then you can um, you can do the cowl and save the second skein um, for making the matching mitts when they come out in six months. So, Okay, friends. Thanks for bearing with me and my scatterbrained. This was truly a Sarah plays her father kind of day. This is like sometimes how scatterbrained I feel like my dad is. Sorry, dad. <laughs> he doesn't watch these. He's not on Facebook. So. Uh, have a lovely, lovely week. Hey, thank you to everyone who shopped on the gumball sale. Jen, I can see you on here. We're so, so happy that we had such lovely customers when we even had people win the 100% gumball. That's right. So, um, it is, it actually happens. And we had several people, several great regular online customers win 50% gumballs. So we had a blast. Ariana busted her you-know-what shipping everything. She had shipped probably a third of it by the end of the day on Saturday, and she finished up the rest of it over the weekend. I came in first thing yesterday morning and took it all to the post office. So all of the packages are out and on their way. Incredible. And thank you again for supporting this little yarn shop. And we really, truly are a little yarn shop. I'm not even kidding, you guys. We are not a big, huge corporate uh, organization. It's me and my awesome staff, Julia, Jill, and Ariana. And then sometimes I rope in my kids and my husband when I need help uh, schlepping stuff around or changing light bulbs. So we really, truly are grateful for all of you. Okay, have a great week. I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Toodaloo.